We've got some um, we've got some parcel mortars, mortar and pestle even, in case anyone needs anything to build anything while they're here. We've got a smithy, we've got a vault. Look inside the vault. The vault of things. YouTube! Oh, put myself. <laughs> it's nightfall, eh? Right back out again with some more Ark Survival Evolved on the TDZ. It's oh, hiccups. Eternal server. Hiccups days. I hope you guys are alright today. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day apart from the hiccups. I'm having a good day. So you may have noticed we're down in Viking Bay, just over here, where we keep our water dino dinos. And last time I was here. I started building this little ramp out and I kind of thought to myself, we need a proper naval base. But it's taken a little bit of a while to gather stuff because I'm up and down and up and down and up and down. And I just figured, I figured, do you know what? Why don't we just... Requires placement on the floor. Okay, let's just put it there. That's fine. I figured, I figured, do you know what? Why don't we just, like... Oh, hello. Is that a Rex in the distance? I thought, why don't we just build it? down here and put a little stuff down here 95 okay that's not too much of a thing but i don't really fancy killing any of our dinos by accident let's just give it a quick bye guy there we go not worried anymore so i brought down um two quick things i was going to bring down uh wool node rider but i thought i'd give uh beaver mendez a little bit of a run out so I've got um, Ardo Dicarus as well, just smash up some stones and to take that back to the crafting table because then we can just make up all the stuff. I've got a thousand, uh, ten thousand, sorry, um, fibre on me already. Now the whole point of what I want to do today is get the area secured so nothing spawns inside it because a few Europids have been in there. While I was looking at like building the little the little walkway out. I got attacked by a few Europeans and got knocked out. Now, luckily, the Basilosaurus went insane. It just started eating it. But there's Alpha Megalodons around and stuff as well. And I just don't really fancy having to retame something just because we've been too silly to hide it. Does that make sense? It just it takes us two minutes to hide it, and, and then we'll be fine. Let's put some more movement speed in this guy. We need 10,000 stone already, so it shouldn't take too long. Now, I'm, I'm going to make the base of it out of stone. I'm gonna make the top of it out of wood. Um, make it. I want to kind of make it. I want to make it seaside-ish. I want to make it naval base-esque kind of thing. Um, that's the look I'm going for. I'm really hoping I can kind of pull that off. The biggest thing for me is having somewhere to put the dinosaur gate to get things in and out, and having enough room for the stuff as well. I'm looking at getting a mosasaur very, very shortly, and if you future episodes, me and CSG and Liney um, are all talking about it. I think Bantasaurus is on about coming along with us as well. So I think we're going to do a bit of an expedition for a Mosasaur and um, or maybe some Plesios or something. Um, just something a bit better than what we've currently got. I think I'm the only one currently with anything decent dino, underwater dino wise. Um, I know CSG told us the other day he tamed a Megalodon and then the Megalodon literally died the moment that he brought it back to his base which really really sucks and he, he wasn't very happy I don't think he even got it back to his base actually I think he got attacked after the episode um, and he died which really sucks so um, yeah we want to have somewhere safe where we can all keep our dinos I'm quite happy building something that's going to be uh, a community thing I, I don't mind building stuff for the community to make the guys life easier when they come on some of them it's the first time they played Ark um, that's not breakable. Some of them have played Ark before, um, but they've just not got enough time. And yeah, you know, I've played Ark for for quite a while now, and uh, I'd like to say I'm decent at it. Not too bad. So with that in mind, um, it makes me make stuff a bit faster. Does that make sense? I can make stuff a bit quicker because I already kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, I know the best things to look for. I know not to get stuck inside a wyvern. Get out of the way, guy. Jesus. Christ on a bike. Don't, before you even start. Just before you even start. How did that not kill you? Just before you even start. What I thought. 
none of them shenanigans in this area. So with enough wood, I reckon I should be able to get all the stuff that I need to start building. So I'm going to keep farming some of this stuff. I'm going to put on some tunes in the background. I'm going to make myself a coffee with gingerbread syrup in it. Oh yeah, baby. That's how I roll. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get some of this base part of it cracked out. Just probably the outline of where I want the wall to be and probably get the... Um, the behemoth gate in place and then when I look at when I'm when I'm about to start looking at building the actual um, base area landing pad and stuff itself I will bring you guys back with all this hot level action look how much stuff I'm getting on. it's insane more speed for you please slap it a bit slap it a bit slap it a bit Okay, so it's been about two hours of grinding, but look at this piece. It's so amazing. I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. I might make the... Mm, looking at it now, I might make this bit a bit bigger. Looking at it, yeah. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna make this bit wider. Maybe two more wide. So we're going to need some more foundations again. <laughs> oh my god, I've gone through so much things. Um, let's make, I don't know, maybe 25? Okay, cool. So let me give you a bit of a tour of what's going on. So, I've got the... I've built this across the top of it, and I have to be honest. That looks ace. The crotch. <laughs> that looks ace. I love it. I've got it all the way down here. All the way across. It is all solid. Completely solid. All the way around it. The only thing that I need to do, all this bit in the middle is solid as well, but I'm going to obviously extend that now. The only thing I need to do really, because I've doubled up this area here, is I need to do the same and pull it across. Is there holes in there? Is there seriously holes? What the friggin' hell's happened there? How has this happened? Well, that needs to be fixed. Um, let's just plug it. Can we plug it with walls? Can't plug it with walls. We're gonna need one. Two, we're gonna need a few foundations. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, so there's still quite a lot of building to do, and I really want to show you guys uh, building a little um, the hut, the sort of research center hut, and that's the way I'm I'm picturing it in my head. It being a nice little research, center, like an aquatic research center. So if we want to do any breeding or anything in the in the water, we can do. That's the whole point of it. That's what I wanted to do. Somewhere to keep our dinos safe. So, let's have a look. Let's chuck these back on. Not the fastest on the uh, on the old land, but we're a hell of a lot faster underwater, which is the main thing, is what we want in. Right. Why on earth did this not get patched? Why did I not do this bit? The S plus mod does annoy me sometimes though. Just clip, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we got it. So I'm thinking of pulling this up to up to there. So where that kind of ends. So that one there. That's what I'm thinking. Extend it that sort of distance. And how wide do we want it? Maybe up to here? Maybe the whole length of it. Yeah, man. Let's do it. If we're going to do it, if we're going to build a big centre, somewhere where we can build and somewhere where we can store pearls and stuff and somewhere we can land a dino on the roof to transfer stuff to, the whole works. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. Let's do it right. So I'm re now regretting putting this right in the corner. <laughs> Um, we're going to need some, a lot more of these actually. Let's make another 50. Let's get another 50 cracking with that. We're going to need those. Oh man. Such a big build. Such a big build. I've got every faith it's going to be worth it when it's done. Um, okay, so we're going to need a few more of those. Now what I am doing might be a bit cheating, but 
or the middle part of it because it's so large. I'm not just doing full, as you can see, look, I'm not doing full foundations. I've done full foundations all the way around the outside to keep us safe. But the middle parts I'm going to make hollow just for aesthetics. There's no point in at all of me trying to um, to make these fully done with all the foundations. It would take me forevers. Maybe let's get 10 and then I can try and crack on a bit more. Yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, I don't like that actually. We're going to need to put some sealants underneath there. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. That's fine. Um, so yeah, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get this hooked up here, like so. As I say, the walls will fill it in. Now these, because of the way it works, I'm going to have to put building supports through it all in order to not have the little bug of no foundations thingamadoodler. Um, so that's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take me a long while to get this built, but I want to show you guys a bit of progress. And what I'll do is once I've got it all done and ready, and it's going to take a while. I'm so glad I'm ahead with my episodes because I, <laughs> I really need to be. Um, as soon as I've done it, I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back and give you a bit of a progress update. And we're back, and it has been many hours. Many of the hours have passed, but look how amazing this looks. Let's just get rid of the hood for a second. Look how amazing this looks. We've got full on aquatic center type deal. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. We've got lights all over and all around the outside as well. Using the S plus stuff to light some stuff up. There's all underneath. I have got millions and millions and millions, not really. Uh, I've got a few bits of oil, <laughs> a few bits of oil in there. We've got some, um, we've got some pestle and mortars, mortar and pestle even, in case anyone needs anything to build anything while they're here. We've got a smithy. We've got a vault. Look inside the vault, the vault of things. I've made five of everything, just in case anybody wants to come here and start using it. They can do. It's fine. This guy's all hooked up. In fact, do you know what? Let's just turn it on. Let's just have it running. So that guy's all hooked up so you can repair your scuba stuff. You just have to get the bits and pieces. And if you're worried about the metal and stuff, this is where it is. So it's kind of like on a... F oh, hello. That's new. They've added that into it so you can actually make it. Oh, interesting. Um, that's really good, actually. So, yeah. So I like what I like what I've built. I think it looks really, really cool. We've got this area here. So if we just... Let's just put this back on. Who's the fastest? Probably free. Uh, Alpha Survivor is probably the fastest, actually. Alpha Survivor... Alpha Survivor! Do that. So, Alpha Survivor is probably the fastest. Can we get out of here, man? There we go. So, yeah, so you can see, let's go from a bit of a distance. Look how wicked this looks. I'm so very, very pleased with it. I'm so very, very pleased with it. You may have just seen a little spoiler in my inventory that I didn't want to show you till next episode. I've got it recorded to show you. So, in between building all the stuff, um, I found something really cool, but you're going to have to wait till next episode or try and rewind it and try and have a look at what it was. I won't tell if you don't tell. <laughs> Manacle laughter. Oh, I need to breathe, don't I? We got about all the breathing stuff. So yeah, so I'm really, really proud of it. I'm really pleased with it. It's taken many, many hours. It's taken a lot of effort and a lot of time. But the thing is, it's it's stone, so it's it will stop any Europeans or anything like that trying to get in, which is a big bonus because they're the ones that knock you out and we don't want that to happen um, there's plenty of room everywhere for rafts, for motorboats and stuff which we're going to do in future the full sort of works, we have room for everything and the best thing is if you want to when you've got everything look you can just do this and you go oh I tell you what I got some black pearls in here oh my god I'm just going to take these little things and probably take them back to the base so then you can just do this and then come up here and then you go, alright, oh, okay, well, I've left my dino on the roof. Very handy that this is here. Just climb up here and meet Sonic Boom, who's my new um, Pteranodon that I've uh, tamed up in between all the things. And there we go, look at that, it's amazing, I'm so happy. I wish this glitch would go away though with the, um, with the stupid gamma, how it crazy gammas around this area. Really strange why it does it. Look, there you go, look. <laughs> and then it just go back to normal when you're like. Get over here and land. Very strange. Look, it's there again. It's gone. It's there again. It's gone. It's there again. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I really do. If you have enjoyed it, if you've enjoyed the build, you know what to do. You know what to do. Crush that thumbs up button just in the down there. 
pooped on all over this. Oh my god, there's another poop. Poopy guy. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more Ark Survival Evolved on the TDZ Eternal server, building some massive shipyard things. We're going to have to put some boats in here so it looks a bit full. Keep so safe, guys!